Hello everyone, welcome to Pediatrics by Dr. Anand. In this session, we're going to talk about how to use this. Now, what is this? What do you think? What is this device which is used, which we have done, uh, you know, quiz multiple times, which is used in pediatrics? Any idea? So, this is nothing but known as a MDI. What is MDI? Metered dose inhaler okay this is nothing but mdi okay we have different colors also you know it comes in this color also whitish also it comes in this in blue also are you understanding so what does this mdi consist of i'll let me tell you first okay see metered dose inhaler it is used for asthma purpose for delivering drugs in an aerosol therapy either you can give butycinide like butycord you can give salbutamol you can give all the short acting or various bronchodilator through this device okay first point second point very important the parts are of MDI are number one this can you see that what is this thing this thing what do you call this and random guesses so this is nothing but known as a canister okay this is known as a canister C A N I S canister okay the meter dose inhaler consists of a canister number one number two this is nothing but known as a actuator okay this is known as a actuator actuator means a the spelling is a c t u a t o r actuator or you can also see or you can say plastic uh, you know like a plastic uh, holder you can say that okay so actuator this is a actuator and this is a this is the cap are you understanding so plastic holder cap and the very important canister okay canister these three things when, when comes together they form a mdi metered dose inhaler okay that is very important the meaning of actuator means to put into action this instrument this device known as actuator or a, or a plastic holder so uh, this basically helps in you know it, it, it helps in keeping that the thing into motion like through this I will put the canister now how do we use it this canister we're gonna put it inside and fit it that is the first point okay if this has fit now okay then we have this cap which is normally goes over here okay are you understanding so this is nothing but known as a very important metered dose inhaler now I will be telling you how to use it there are some instructions which we need to follow in a case of how to use this I will be telling you each and every point okay point number one what they say that first you remove the cap this cap is there right so you remove the cap that is the first point so after removing the cap basically you make sure that the mouthpiece is clean can you see that whether the uh, should, should I zoom the camera can you see it is saying that the mouthpiece should be clean that is the first point okay now the next point is hold the inhaler away from your face and shake it well okay hold the inhaler away from your face not in front of my face okay away from my face shake it well and you put two puff in the air two puff in the air like how see normally you you hold it like this okay it's very important while teaching also to the to the children and to the adult patients also thumb should be here and your index finger or your two fingers you know can be put over here okay like that so but right now before me putting directly into my mouth I would like to do a start you know like a test dose kind of a thing whether it's working well or not so they are saying that hold the inhaler away from your face and shake it well and release the puff into the air okay two puffs so see so one two can you see that so these are the two puff I did and I checked yeah it is working very well so I think now I'll say my inhaler is ready to use are you understanding so this is why I'll say yeah, my inhaler is ready to use okay that is the first one okay now how do we use it very important now coming to this part like this part only see this is that is how you use it okay like this you have to put your thumb down and your index finger up and you can put index and the ring and the second finger also middle finger also you can use it okay so uh, the guideline says sit or stand upright number one okay remove the mouthpiece I have removed the mouthpiece in this one okay shake well very important hold it upright thumb down and this up and I will yeah so I'll be putting my mouth I'll be covering my mouth with the whole this mouthpiece. Are you understanding? Second, both most important point: do not bite. Okay, do not bite. You have to put in the mouth like this, but you're not supposed to bite. Don't bite it with your teeth. That is very important. Okay, and then what happened? Breathe out. Like when once you put giving a puff, you breathe out normally. 
then you put this this thing inside and you give a puff okay like So what exactly I did, I'll just explain you also. Place the mouthpiece of the inhaler in your mouth. Place the mouthpiece. This is the mouthpiece of the inhaler in your mouth. Okay. After that, very important between your teeth. Put them between your teeth, but don't bite it. That is important. Okay. So then what happened? Once you give a puff, then start breathing in slowly through your mouth. Start like once you give a puff no so you start you know breathing it slowly through your mouth and uh, you know this uh, uh, down through the canister this is this is known as the canister you push through the canister right that is one important you release the spray okay and then very important you count for 10 seconds okay we tell the patient okay you know full like you pushed it inside your uh, the canister you pushed it and then you took it inside then count hold your breath there only count for 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 slowly count for 10 seconds and then slowly exhale it exhale it you know that's what it says so that's it and uh, like after you giving a puff so the this the exact uh, this guideline says that remove the inhaler from your mouth and hold your breath means for example once i'm keeping in in the mouth Did you see that? Are you able to understand? That's what they're trying to say. See, okay, that's very important. You Once you give a puff, no, then remove the inhaler from your mouth. Then hold your breath for 10 seconds. And then as long as it is comfortable and breathe out normally. Are you understanding? That is how a normal uh, puff should be used. Okay, next question. Next question is that, sir, if, if the doctor has told me to take two to three puffs in a time, then what to do? doctor has told that you have to take two puff thrice a day or two puff twice uh, once a day so just now we gave, gave a one puff what about the second puff so if another puff is required you have to wait at least for one minute if the another puff is required you have to wait at least for one minute are you understanding and then shake well and same like this upright position and good to use are you understanding these are the important points which you need to know we have various uh, colors also we have various canisters also like as if I can see this canisters of salbutamol basically the each dose contains 100 microgram it is written or it is written each actuation delivers salbutamol 100 microgram okay that is the first point second we have other canisters like we have this one like what is this this is budesonide okay this is budesonide or uh, yeah so this budesonide comes in this one is one dose is equal to 100 microgram one puff we say no two to three puff or one to two puff so one puff means 100 microgram that you should know it comes in butosonide 100 butosonide 200 and butosonide 400 various composition comes comes okay like one puff is equal to 100 microgram or 200 or 400 micrograms so this is the canister this is the plastic cup or actuator this is the uh, what you call cap you put a cap like this this is a beautiful thing and you keep it like that like this and you fit it so this is a wonderful way of keeping it okay and for the children's basically we use um, something known as a spacer okay in uh, that is also important like we have this uh, uh, we have this mdi then we have a spacer also to so the spacer also i can take the breath okay in some cases i have the M uh, mdi i have the spacer there's a thing device called spacer and then i have a mask also for a better drug delivery okay for a better drug delivery that is important yeah i think this is that's more than enough regarding uh, this thing about the uh, how to use a meter dose inhaler mdi and uh, this week we have a wonderful quiz 100 questions on bronchial asthma and uh, i'm happy that you have you all are attending if not then you should and uh, thank you so much for your participation uh, for more such updates you can follow us on instagram and youtube and join our free whatsapp pediatrics learning group on uh, uh, 999987081 thank you